what is up people and welcome back to the channel right so i've whipped out these throttle cables trying to figure out what was holding the revs it can only be a cable because there's nothing electronic that all controls these throttle bodies and if it was air getting in then it would have just shot up and stayed there as it was it was intermediate so what i've done is this is the blue one for the actual throttle pedal now the inner lining was protruding slightly but this there is nothing it's a bit sharp on the edge hear it snap straight back that one is mint this one is the one that goes to the blipper the downshift blipper setup now it has been rubbing on something but it's also, this one is quite hard to show you because, hang on a second. If we look, it's really stiff compared to the other one. So that, and I have been pulling it quite a lot. So I think maybe this one was the issue. See, and it had a bit of a bend in it there where it went through the floor. So I'm thinking, because that basically looped back on itself like that. I think, Jesus, how stiff it is. I think it was this one. Because you could see in the video, it, as I was activating the stick, it was up in and down in the revs. So I think this cable is the one that's failed. There was a tight bit there then. It was tight. It went really tight here somewhere. I was holding it about there. So somewhere inside there, it might be that, that might have got really hot at some point. And it could have melted the, the internal sheathing. Because the end of the cable is really clean looking, you know what I mean? So I think, let's put it back in. To be honest, the whole thing is quite stiff. Yeah, it's definitely, see there? That is a stiff. I'm actually having to put a lot of force and considering the cable straight, I'm having to put a lot of force to get that through wherever that is. So if we take that out now, it is, look, it's there. So whatever this was has melted or damaged the internal, you know, the clear plastic. That, that's gotta be the issue. And of course, it was fine on the first time out. So the first 15 minutes, which you lot didn't see because the camera decided to shit itself. Well, it's not the camera. You know, the plugs I have in here, these plugs. Yeah, which go to the buttons. I think this one has got some debris in it or something from the welding. Because I plugged that one in and it worked. But it only worked for the second time out. These are my little buttons. So if you think, the first time out, 15 minutes, it was fine. The second time out, the car had been sitting in the pits hot. I think that may have contributed to that failure so then when i've gone out i've only done a couple of laps temperatures got back up and that i bet you tightened up on the throttle cable so even though i disconnected it from the gear stick the issue was still there so when i'm pushing the throttle pedal because what I, how i've got this set up is the throttle pedal turns the butterfly on the weber on the genvis this other cable is also attached to the Genvis. So I'm pressing the throttle cable pedal down, which is pulling the cable, which will be pushing this cable back inside this black thing. So I'm then letting off, well, this has held onto the cable. So I've ordered two new cables. These have got a nice, like a, I mean, look out, these are all wrapped up yeah 
You know what I mean? How simple, how easy is that? This is the same cable I've got on the throttle already, the blue one. But this inner sheath has started to come out. You know what I mean? So it was it was on it today anyway. So what we're gonna do is rip these cables out, make new cable. That's what we're gonna do now. I feel a bit I was a bit annoyed that the GoPro didn't work on the first time out, because the second time out the driving wasn't the best. I've watched it back and I made a few mistakes. Didn't get enough temperature in the back tires quick enough, so I ran over a cone. And you know, it's just it is what it is. Right, so we're gonna get on to this. Let's get cracking. And my words just ain't coming out of the mouth, so I need to give in. I am people. So what I came up with doing <laughs> is basically I'll show you. It's bloody dogs running the ragged. <laughs> yeah. So from and then she just comes straight back. Good. And anyway, honestly. So anyway, what I decided to do is I've left the throttle pedal cable, the blue one. There's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. So I've left that one. But what I have replaced is the black one that went to the blipper. So it's in there back where it was. But the other one ran down there and the damage to the outer sheath, which is that. That must have been rubbing either on the diff or a CV boot, no joint. And that's what's generated the heat and then it's melted the internal and it all started to fail from there. So what I've done now is I've run it through the bulkhead so it used to go down through the tunnel and up. Well, now I've put it through the bulkhead inside the car. It's this blue one. So it comes across. It's still got to be all cable tied in. And it loops back around into the downshift blip. So now we shouldn't have that issue. I thought it was when I did the welding. But it's not. The damage is down that end. So when I've been working in here, it must have somehow moved that cable. Yeah, so that is what I'm doing now. I'm just going to run it as it is, because it's worked for years like this. Just something went awry, if you know what I mean. So this is all going to get cable tied away. I've also put the extra nozzles in. So we've got three in here now. And at the minute, we've got two under the engine bay. So I've, had to put a, I've put a second one in. That's the original. So I've put a second one in. Well, I need one more. And the only other one I've got is on the fire extinguisher that I keep in the garage. So I'm gonna put that in as well, because it needs to have six on this system. So that's something else I've got to do. I'm also, you know, I was on about moving that screen to there. Then I decided not to, I was gonna leave it there. But really now I need to go testing again, just to clarify this issue has gone away. So I might move that to there anyway. I've had a word with my friend at Custom Minis See if he knows of a dash, you know, the carbon dashes to pull over this. So take everything off, put a carbon dash over it. I really don't want to be spending too much money on this car because things are coming up and I'm, I'm unsure. I'm really unsure what to do now. Do you know what I mean? I'm, do I keep it? Do I sell it? Do I strip it? Do I buy a Clio? Do I build my next one? Honestly, my head is all over. So, yeah, but ideally, instead of selling this car, I should break it, take everything off that I need and sell the car as a rolling shell. But I don't know. Anyway, I'll keep you in the loop. So that's it for now. So we've found our issue. I think we've solved our issue. And now on to the next issue. Bye, thanks for watching, and I will see you later, people. Bye.